A stolen catalytic converter can leave you stranded out of thousands of dollars for a replacement. And a recent report from State Farm found that thefts are up more than a thousand percent in the last two years. But what's the point of stealing these catalytic converters and who's buying them? Team 12's Michael Doudna scoured hundreds of ads for catalytic converters online, finding that despite laws that restrict the sales of these catalytic converters, the black market appears to be thriving. Michael? Daily, multiple times a day. From YMCA's to driveways. It's getting out of hand. It's bad. Thieves steal hundreds of catalytic converters from Arizona cars every month. But where do they all go? And that's a really good question because the fact is we just honestly don't know exactly where they're going. Many used to be online on places like Facebook and OfferUp, but Detective Adam Populair says many criminals are operating offline, making deals through black market connections. You know, you hear people throw out terms like black market sales. Well, let me paint a new picture for you. It's noon, broad daylight in a parking lot, and the thief steals the catalytic converter. And then he goes to a convenience market 10 minutes away, meets his contact, and sells the catalytic converter in broad daylight. Stealing is illegal, but so are the unlicensed buying and selling of catalytic converters. However, over the last year, there's just been two people charged with that crime countywide. Just the, the sheer number of them, without them advertising, without catching them in the act, uh, it, it's extremely difficult. See, despite the valuable minerals inside that are worth thousands of dollars an ounce, catalytic converters have nothing on them to track back to cars. Without that, police struggle to prove if a converter was stolen. We might catch somebody with these auto parts that we know are stolen, but we have no way of connecting them to a victim. And if we can't do that, it's very difficult to build a felony case. That's Dave Goitia with Glendale PD. He says most of these stolen converters switch hands before often ending up and scrap yards. And scrap yards are legally allowed to buy and sell converters to legally licensed operators. And there are laws that, that regulate the scrap yards, but we found that some of them will operate outside of the law. And right now, the punishment for buying or selling outside of the law is just a misdemeanor, often just a fine for a product that can be worth thousands. Now, police may soon have a new tool in their fight against converter thefts. A bill making its way through the state legislature right now would make possession of one of these converters illegal, unless you're part of a business that's allowed to have them. We're in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News.